no. So today's film is called 13 West Side, which is a neo-noir thriller crime film uh, starring uh, Alan Ladd and Rod Steiger. And it's based on the novel from 1957, The Tiger Among Us by Lee Brackett. And this film is a forerunner of sorts to um, the Death Wish films of the 70s starring Charles Bronson, where we have Alan Ladd's character who is, gets attacked coming home from work late one night by a group of uh, well-heeled um, rich uh, kids from Bel Air uh, for no apparent reason and um, he doesn't really turn in, out to a, a full-blown vigilante mode like Bronson in those films uh, but there is always the undertone of um, the possibility that he will and there is kind of a a greyness over his uh, motives for what he's uh, up to and uh, the more um, he investigates the case himself, because uh, Detective Kalowski, played by Rod Steiger, doesn't get very far uh, investigating the, the case. And uh, Alan Ladd gets a private detective on the case and he starts investigating himself and probing uh, into the case. And this raises the attention of the leader of the gang, a kind of borderline psychopathic. And he ups the ante and puts a frankness on Alan Ladd and his family's wife. So the more that um, frightened and the more um, paranoid and anxious that uh, Alan Ladd gets, he buys a gun and he starts to get more and more um, desperate as the film goes on. But this film is really not that notable for anything other than a pretty fine performance by a young Wood Steiger who really elevates the film to uh, something worth watching. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much standard crime fare, although the themes and that are maybe um, slightly different from the usual crime story. Uh, but it's also notable for Alan Ladd as his last starring role, and uh, he would do one more uh, uh, supporting role uh, in The Carpetbaggers uh, shortly after this. But he died, sad sadly, a couple of years after this film at only 50, and he doesn't really look that great in this film either. He looks kind of... I would say bloated around the face and his performance is very very lackluster and um, flat and uh, just uh, seems very disinterested uh, it's quite a shame really to see him this way um, not a memorable performance at all as your final starring role I have to say um, I think he produced this film as well it was his own production company Lab Productions and um, it's an okay movie, it's an okay watch, but uh, notable only as his last uh, starring vehicle. And a decent performance by Steiger, who does elevate the film above the average, I would say. So that is 13 West Side. Have you ever seen this film? Do you know anything more about it? Thanks for watching and listening, and we hope to see you again soon.